Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM. Uh, no, no, no. War Tales DLC with uh, the beautiful pirate DLC expansion. My name is Saiken and today we're playing Extreme Difficulty. We want to test a new DLC as uh, such. We started in the Virtuous Province. We're playing a four man team only. And we're currently trying to get out of the province without needing to pay 200 just for that. In order to do it, we're triggering an ambush because uh, guess what our apothecary that we needed to uh, mm, uh, that we needed to uh, uh, that we needed to escort is getting attacked by a bunch of level three wannabes let's teach them some manners shall we good we're being ambushed four of them a couple of spares here and there Start hitting the sentry, getting our first beta point. We're breaking away. Yeah, I know. Gives us a little bit of damage. Understand that, but in return. We're going to dish out some more damage. This should not engage. Nope. It's just taking away his armor. Fantastic. Good. Gotta deal with that archer. is if I run to the archer it'll be a two versus one because that other guy is going to come for me and I don't have sprint to move away poison big step Ouch, 15, wow, that is quite massive, but he takes 8 points back from the poison. That should keep him away. Yep. It's just standing there. And effectively dealt no damage this turn. AOE damage, ooh. Mud on top of it, oh wow, that makes it just absolutely horrible to deal with. I want that mud bow. Mud AOE. It's one of the best uh, forms of bow damage that I know. There are a couple of other Valorous bows that are 
really good for other reasons, but Mud AoE, absolutely phenomenal. I think he will kill himself. Yep. hit. I like it. The guy is destabilized. We're juggling aggro between all of us. Nah, I'm not shooting if I can hit my own guys. Cool. I like those little skirmishes, they are better, it's kind of 5 minutes to get everything done, and they are still very very close from time to time. I wonder if the end fights, or the later fights, if uh, they will uh, be harder. So let's first of all loot everything, that's medium armor. Massive amount of guard and defense, so can hardly argue why we wouldn't take that. We can even take heavy armor, but that's currently not not available. So now, since that guy is uh, since that guy is rescued or ambushed by the beast's fans, who are these men? Why were they here? All I could find on them was this key. We must. Good. Let's put this and this in here and we're good. But that was unfortunately a negative event. You know what? Let's just kill them. Okay, we got a spare. And I think that's a good starting point. Bring it on, Wars. Show us what you got. Yeah, they start in the mud, which makes it hard for them to do anything properly. 
we're beginning to hit. Do a little bit of that on top. Nah, we'll just stay here for now. So good. This guy will take damage from the lightning once the lightning strikes. Well, too bad. Lightning strikes and nothing happens. Move up, strike. Strike. Almost down. But almost is not quite. has tried his very very best to just get out of the mud never made it uh, fully out new round is starting gets pushed directly back into the mud and then sniped with the right environment archers specifically hunters are just absolutely dominating i wish we had uh, that mud bow because that was absolutely slick Good. The boars offered us a little bit of food so that we're not starving. Not much we can do they here other than buying horses. And I don't necessarily feel like needing more horses. We're just keeping our we're just keeping our warband nice and tidy. We do have a small warband. One horse is more than enough of horses if you're running like 1500 people. Then you will need an entire zoo. But then the, cor uh, the fights also will take 30 minutes to just go through one uh, specific fight. It's a way of playing the game as well, but like I mentioned, it's not very streamer friendly. Let's check if we are getting uh, some new stuff. Can we By the beast's fangs, you're right. persuade you? you? Yes, well. there you go. That, we can't tell just get out of here. I don't tend to just kill people. Same saddlebags. Okay. Yeah, 
we can't we can't mine anything. Already we we looted uh, that already. Sure you want to go down? Of course we want to go down. What took you so long? Oh, who are you? Where are my men? Let's go. Alright, so we got ourselves into a little canyon here. Sentry. What do we have? That's a little spear here. And Comfrey heals a dying ally, grants 10% of their maximum health. Musaw stacks of poison, bleeding, and burning. Okay, cool. That's not bad. We're fighting on this side of the pond. Fortunately, we start with zero Valor points. It's a bit disappointing. Uh, but their archer is all the way in the front. That, on the other hand, is not very disappointing. That's perfect. Good. Starting the Vela points. Move on. Front line is built up. We have a lot of defense on both sides listen I just want some Vela points so what we're going to do is move over here get a Vela point for being close and then realize that we're being surrounded cool time to get a support in Quite AoE damage. Oh wow, that was good. That was a good hit. Um, That's a three for one. Unfortunately, Jim will be poisoned. And their boss is poisoned and birds. Very nice. Enemies have four stacks of poison, of poison on them. And a new round is beginning. Starts hitting this guy, getting the Vela points up. Continues to be poisoned, not dead yet though. Look, we're disengaging even though ta uh, we're taking damage. But on the flip side, this here is possible. And this here. Not 
not 100% sure why they get 62% protection is that his ability oh okay entrenched means uh, the guy next to him gets the same entrenched ability okay good to know learn something that's a new ability Lost your protection. Oh no, you did not. Okay. Hmm. Very, very interesting. So it moves to here, gets the Valor Point, I want more poison. Because that very much goes through the protection. This guy is now at 9 stacks of Valor Poison and burns. better moving away from these two. They are not dealing a lot of damage, but they are quite difficult to get uh, down. Still trying to figure out how to break that in position thing. Now they are destabilized. Okay, now it's broken. And they also seem to be immune to poison. get poison on him oh yeah finally okay and yeah we might as well give him burning because at this point everybody is burning Nice hit. Fantastic. Oh, that was a good fight. Costs a lot of repair in all of our healing droughts. But we got a heavy armor out of it. Movement minus two. So that's something that Jim can certainly get behind. 13 guard and 17 armor. Well, unfortunately that here is even better and he does not lose movement. We need good heavy armor, not moderately good one. He was. How can they go on without me?
Okay, cool. I tell you what, that was successful, even though uh, he might not think it was. Missing Apotecary is uh, done. Let me see where the other ones are. Okay, so. Roby. Gets his constitution up again. We're resting. Did Roby just get another level? No. Oh, yeah, it does. Carrying capacity increased. Great. So we're at 112. A um, couple of things to, uh, to think about. Uh, we do have the the runes over here. I don't think that that's appropriate yet. Nor do I want to do a lot of uh, the runes. I really want to do the new content. So I'm thinking about the quickest way of starting uh, to do that. Uh, the arena is here. Uh, for legendary dagger that's good and it also unlocks uh, the assassin's specialization so can hardly argue that that is not a good uh, trait we might want to go to here and then we're going to the arena and um, yeah that should i should not be too bad uh, we do have down here besides the one quest we do have uh, the option to get shackles and with shackles we can do the other virtues uh, quest trying to save uh, the 200 odd uh, gold pieces uh, to be able to actually cross over it might sound uh, seem a bit stingy but think about it uh, we need a lot for our companions to begin with just to pay them and then in reality uh, I would Remain like to get a couple of extra I, skills uh, that we currently I do not have. It is my duty to protect the Alizar. And how am I supposed to do that uh, without stealing if I never get the, oppor uh, the opportunity to actually save up money, right? So... Might she be looking for what? Here is your reward. Let's see if we do have anything. That is good. That is good. I don't need the rats. Um, and we don't need the Tomb of the Ancients at the moment. Both is uh, uh, not relevant. This inn is mostly a rest stop for travelers on their way to Marheim. Most people only stay for one night. Getting a little bit of brandy for our alcoholics. Good. By the way, did any of our path meaningfully upgrade? Yes. Maximum Vela increased. Forging weapons requires uh, one part of each type, minus one part of each type. Stats increased. Less food. That's not bad. Uh, they actually improved uh, experience gain. That's really not bad. But this here is bad either. And that's not bad either. I like the maximum valor because we need a lot of valor.
Run duration increase, that's good. Less prone to be injured, that's that's not uh, that's even better. Less food is always good. This here is fantastic for legendary weapons. Now, nah, we'll take this one here, less prone to be injured, because we're currently hemorrhaging, uh, hemorrhaging a lot of money just... A rest stop for tra just to get the medicine. Let me guess, we can uh, can still not learn any new results, uh, um, recipes, yep, okay, cool. Good, like I mentioned, we have a couple of things to do. Up here, up there, down there, and then we go there. Might I interest you, my humble wares, my good... No, your humble wares are indeed a little bit too humble for my taste. As in, they are really bad, and you could do better. My but I, I can deal with thieves, but perfect. You must be in the fields by night. Good. All we need to do is be in the field by night and deal with the ones that are uh, messing up the wine. That sounds easy enough. Plus, it'll give us some extra influence. Good. Let's use this here so that we have the areas connected. And let's make our camp here, which automatically will trigger the whole uh, fighting during the night. It's dusk. And it's where they come out. Hey! Looks like the old loop woman hired some. Good. Time to teach them a lesson. Good. We are finding ourselves in the middle of another battle. Four versus five this time. And we got a couple of the pumpkins. One over here. Yeah, that's potentially not going to be good enough. We're just trying to fight up here and we'll be fine. Entry gets destabilized and we're hitting it, hitting her hard. She, however, hits soft, very soft. Mace Barra, hit, push back, and we're just standing here. Very good. Only chance for the mace bearer is to be next to their friend. 
and unfortunately gets the in position bonus apparently when they are fighting next to each other they get a lot of protection well the mud is no fun at all And it messed up our ability to hit two of them. Huh. How I absolutely love mud bows when the enemies is having them. Of course, when I'm having them, I think they are absolutely great. But if the enemy is having them, no such thing, sir. Yeah, we, I know this guy will attack me from behind. But what am I supposed to do? We gotta get these thing, uh, these guys down. Sentry almost down. Yep. Can't have that. We're taking the hit, which is fine. Very good. Should have used the thrown weapon beforehand. But even if we're now tanking, this is still better than being engaged, uh, being engaged in getting uh, riddled by. Mud arrows. That's not fun at all. Taking another hit, we're breaking, we're taking a lot of attacks of opportunity, but I think at the end of the day it's worth it. So we get to the back line, and that's what counts. Because here, shooting for two into someone with so much defense, nonsensical. On the other hand, moving to here, hitting both of them for a lot of damage, that makes a lot of sense to me. We've taken too much damage to meaningfully uh, tank there. We'll just let uh, the poison do its thing. Oh, 
now that he's re-engaged, that's a different story, because now we can actually hit him. We can hit him very well. From behind. Nice. Somehow, most of them seem to be immune to poison. I don't know what it is, but... Maybe they have reduced the poison chance. I could understand that, but I'm hitting them with poison uh, with poison bombs and not much is happening. I have to wonder why that is. He kills himself, thanks to the poison. Finally. We're engaging. We're taking his stupid... His uh, stupid 60% defense away. And we're, we're not getting a single point if no one else is with us in combat. Okay, cool. Good to know. Currently, it's a bit of a strange position here. And we're even flanking him. I sit from behind. And that was a surprisingly harsh and difficult fight, but we got through it. Nice one. We can't heal everybody. But we got some heavy armor, which I would like to double check whether or not that actually makes sense to wear it. Heavy armor always has the slight problem that it reduces oh, well your Do movement. You want for my family's peace of mind. To start with, the trackers might be. Good, that's even less armor than we currently have. And movement minus two, so not happening. I need new tools and I need new medicine. My I interest you in my humble ways, my good sir. We're going back to town. And that's, I think, also where I'm going to end the episode. Next episode is going to be all about arena fighting. Because that's the next big milestone. so confusing to me who would do this to my family and why I don't know that either not yet but we'll find out
We still can't learn more weapons. That's disappointing. say we're going to learn the next version of cooking pot, uh, pot it's expensive but reduces consumption by six iron ore wood and sandstone we don't have all of that yet it's all so confusing to me who would do this to my family A strange tuber if you get more i'd be willing to buy it's all so confusing to me. Who would do this to my family, and why? Good. We need tools, and those tools uh, will be pur uh, purchased at the blacksmith. Just know this Fortunately, year not. Breeze. Without the vineyards. No need it's to cheap. New barrels. Good, but I'll get up to 20 again. This one we don't need anymore, and I think we're okay. So, cooking pot, yeah. Alright. We don't have the right resources for that. You can put a hitching post in here because why not? Campfire, sandstone, if we get it, that would be great. is gone and I think that's pretty much it how can we sell anything in this stench I complain to the lady mayor I would offer wine to go with your cheese but the disease has all but destroyed our vineyards this crook has been screaming his head off for days I am this close to making him eat his car. Okay, we can create a couple of torches, and I think that's pretty. Oh, all of. Wait, wait, wait. We have. Oh, the well. That's nice. We need to rest, anyways, very soon. Hitching post needs a bit more salt. You know what? Let's just get that hitching post. How can we sell anything in this stench? I... Then we're taking good rest and calling it a day. Fantastic, that increases our carrying capacity by 10 permanently. We're baking 5 bread, which is good. He's making tools. And...
other positive effects here. Yeah. We made minus eight. That was not very good. We need to really pay close attention to uh, the happiness. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, uh, I'm concerned about the vineyard disease. if you enjoyed War Tales so far, let me know in the comments down below. We're soon off of our way down to the south uh, to the pirates. Yar. But before we can do that, uh, we need to establish a little bit of a foothold here. Just get the absolute basics done. So that'll happen the next time when we're fighting some arena. Take care and have a good day. Bye bye.